What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete blog posts for our app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at deleting blog posts. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along. In the last video, we looked at editing posts. In this video, we want to look at deleting posts. And you can see we've got a delete button here on the main blog post page. We can view the post. We've got a delete button there. And wherever we are, we can click this to delete it. We get a little message, post has been deleted, and uh, we're good to go. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask videos in this series. So if we open our hello.py file, we need to come down here. And, you know, we've got all of these routes and things from the app we've been working on so far. We need to create a new route. So app.route and this is going to be a route to delete our posts. So I'm going to point this to posts slash delete. Now we also want to pass in a specific blog post ID so we know which one to delete. So we can do this. We've done this before. We want to pass in int ID. So that should take care of that. Now let's create a quick function here. So let's define, let's call this delete underscore post and we want to pass in that ID. And now we need to actually look up this blog post with this ID in the database. So sort of query the database and grab that ID so that we can then delete it. So to do that, we've done this sort of thing before. We just want to go, let's create a variable called post to delete. And this will equal posts.query. We need to query the database. Now we need get or 404. And we've used this before. This will grab the post with ID of ID which is just this guy, which becomes this guy that we can then pass in right there. So this get or 404 thing, we've used it before. Basically, it just says, hey, get it from the database. If it doesn't have it, if it isn't in the database, return a 404 error. Remember, way back at the beginning of this course, we created a 404 error page that will take care of that error. So, OK, that looks good. So now that we'll actually you know, query the database and grab it. Now we need to do something with it. And what we want to do is obviously delete it. So let's create a try except block here. And we've done this before as well. So what we want to do is db.session.delete. And then what do we want to delete? Well, whatever this post to delete is, this guy right here that we just defined right here. So that will delete the post. Now, anytime we do something with a database, we need to commit those changes. So let's go db.session.commit. And uh, that's all there is to it. So that will do the trick. Now we also want to return a message that says, hey, it was deleted successfully or whatever. So we could go flash. We've done these before as well. We've already got this all set up. And we could say, you know, blog post was deleted. Woohoo! Right? Okay. So now we need to redirect somewhere after all this gets done. So I'm going to come down here to our post page and I'm going to grab this redirection. We just want to redirect to our main blog post page. That's post.html. We want all the blog posts to show up. So we need to pass in posts and we get those posts by querying the database yet again. So I'm just going to copy all of this. And then we can come back up here to our delete post function. And I'm just going to paste that in. OK, now this needs to be inside of here. All right. So that should do the trick. Now, if something goes wrong and we weren't able to delete it or there's an error of some sort, we need to accept block of code right here. And we can start out by passing a flash message that says, whoops, there was a problem deleting post. Try again. Dot, 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 whatever. OK. And then we also want to paste in and redirect once again. So let's say return an error message. OK, so that should do the trick. That's all the code we need in our view here. Now we just need to go to the actual template files and make some changes. So let's head over to our templates and let's start out with post.html. This is the single post page. So if we come back here and let me hit reload. Uh oh, let's go to blog posts. No, posts. Uh, so if we view the post, 
this is this page right here, post.html, right? So we want to put a little button down here that allows us to delete it from this page. So that's what we'll do first. So we can just kind of scroll down here and these are the buttons, edit and back to blog. And if we look at this again, we see edit and back to blog. So I'm just gonna copy the edit one and let's paste it in again. But instead of it saying edit post, let's say delete post. And instead of it being a secondary button, let's make it a danger button. That'll make it red. That's just a bootstrap thing. And then instead of this pointing to edit post, we want to point to delete post. And then again, we want to pass in the post ID like before. So let's go ahead and save that. Head back over here, hit reload. All right, so there that is. So let's try this out. Let's add a post real quick. And uh, let's just call this post me none. This is trash, right? So let's submit this, uh, go back to posts. Here it is our post. This is trash. We want to view it. We click delete. Blog post was deleted. You can see it's disappeared from the blog post page and we're good to go. Okay, so that worked there. Now we just need to do the same thing for our post page. We want a button right here. So let's head back over here and let's look through and posts plural.html. Same deal. Come down here, find the buttons. We got a view post button and an edit post button. If we look at this view post, edit post, yep. So that's the spot. So I'm just gonna, again, grab this. Let's see, edit post. So view, edit, delete. All right, copy, paste. And let's change this to delete. Same deal here, I want this to be danger. Danger just makes it red outline instead of silver. And again here, we want this to point to delete post instead of edit post. We save this and if we head back over to hello.py, we're calling it delete post because that's the name of the function that we named delete post, right? So let's see right here, we point to delete post. Easy. All right, so let's go ahead and save this, head back over here. Let's hit reload on this sucker. Okay, that looks good. Let's add another post. Test five, me, none, things, right? <laughs> okay, so that is terrible. Let's try and delete it. Boom, blog post was deleted. Eh, we're good to go. So that's how you delete posts. Very easy. Now, obviously, this is open to the world. Anybody could come here and click this button and delete any post. Now, obviously, that's not great. We're going to need to build in some sort of safety mechanisms to only allow certain people to delete posts. But for now, we just want to have the functionality to delete. We'll do all that other stuff later as we create users and log people in and determine whether or not they're logged in or not determine whether or not they own that blog post to you know only allow people that created the post to be able to delete it and things like that. And we'll get into all that in the next few videos. Uh, but for now, just having the functionality to delete a post, super easy. We've done this sort of thing before when we added users, we have a delete down here, same exact concept. We just sort of uh, made a nice fancy little button and uh, did it on the pages themselves. But uh, yeah, pretty easy and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships to pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.